guys welcome to my channel so i am just excited and in awe and just having a wonderful day and it's not done yet but we're going to manifest that today turns out to be an amazing day all throughout the day so today i had um i called some people back at home i've been calling a couple of calling a couple of my friends and that's because I went online this morning and I told you guys about doing um, spiritual life coaching. And um, so I asked for reviews, right? Reviews from my peers, people that I have been talking to and people that I have already been um, advising in some form or fashion throughout my life. So God has been working on me because it was one of the things they were saying, you know, you being empathic, you being a, a healer, you being, you know, all the gifts that I have, which are so many and I love it. And God, I thank you. And I love you. And one of the things about me sitting still, because I am a giver, I'm always wanting to do, even in my own life, I'm just always wanting to do something and does not make me feel like, I, I feel like in order to be a productive person, the Bible say a man that don't work, don't eat. Okay, so I understand we could be like lavishly laying around and doing nothing, but still I want to make sure I'm always doing something to project positive energy into the world, into the universe. Okay, so that's one of my maybe toxic traits, I guess. It's fine though. Walk with me now. So now I'm tying them all in together. I'm starting to realize what it was that he was trying to give me. So the saying about doing something that you love so that way it doesn't feel like work. Okay, that's great. So how do you figure out what you love? Most people don't know what they love. And normally, because there was a um, one of the tarot readers, and I can't remember her name, but I would like to, I'll, I'll figure it out because, again, I want to give everybody credit where credit's due. And for some reason, I'm noticing that something's happening in the tarot community, but that's not where we are right now. But what she said was, the gift that you have been working in your whole entire life, think about that. And I'm like, what gift have I been working in my whole entire life? Like, and she wasn't just talking to me. She was just talking. So it was just something that stuck in my mind because again, God will tell me stuff and then I get a confirmation. So he's been saying that, but then now she says it, the gift you have been working in your whole entire life. So what gift have I been working in? I didn't know I'm trying to figure it out. So then I'm over here. And yesterday I was looking at something online, but I had already started taking these classes. And that's the weird part, right? Some of these classes I have already been taking. So licensed medical assistant, I have that. Um, licensed esthetician, have that. Um, certification for herbalist, have that. Spiritual coaching, talked to several people, but for some reason I couldn't figure out which area in coaching I wanted to go in. And spiritual life coaching, because there's so many different life coaching situations you can go into right and so i'm over here like steady advising people that's one thing people will call me when they have problems they have done it my whole entire life so now me realizing because i'm looking online and i noticed that sometimes i feel like people want to bait me into a conversation with them or they want to bait me into an argument with them or they want to um just draw my attention right and recently a couple of people have received my attention okay and this particular um energy was a like a nasty i could feel the energy coming off of the note it almost made me feel like the person was trying to say something to me but mind you, they did it on somebody else's post. And I don't, listen, I don't know who y'all think I am, but I am not the one, the two, nor the three. And I, I just literally told God the same exact thing this morning. So I'm here, you know, thank you, God, I love you. I'm here, I'm here 
But y'all people better go ask about me for real, for real. Because although I'm, you know, trying to be delivered and, and working in my power, don't think, do not think for a second that I'm going to be nobody's pushover. I have never been and don't start it. So y'all better go ask about what happens when um she really get off the chain. Okay? Because I don't think some of y'all really know me. Y'all just be, you know... But please go ask about them incidents when I just don't see nothing. Don't don't come for me unless I send for you. And so I don't know what you was trying to do, sweetie, with that. But I'm not even really trying to give y'all no energy. Like, honestly, I'm not. I'm busy. I'm, but I, I saw it. Because like I said, the energy that came off of it after I saw the post. But then it reminded me, because then I'm over here saying... Now, I know this person is supposed to be working in this energy, but the energy that I just felt wasn't that energy. So, judgment. Because when I hear a person or when I see a person, right, people lie, this, that, the third, yada, 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 and then try to make them... That, that felt like major judgment to me, and I don't even know who you was talking about, but you surely wouldn't have been talking about me because that's one thing I don't do. Even if I make a statement of, like, I'm not even going to say it because this morning because this is where this came from but this morning I called and then somebody asked me a question the the girl asked me a question and then she said were you trying to say and I said I wasn't trying to say nothing I said what because I delivered a message how it came out of a person's mouth okay so I deliver what's given and then I hear I have the feeling of somebody saying I don't know why god you be like so the person is saying that's not how I meant it I hear what you said. I repeated the words that came out of your mouth. What you meant and what you said, I'm not going to assume what you meant. I just repeated what you said. So guess what? I said what you said. And I don't care who like it, who don't like it. I'm going to say it again if it gets brought up. So one thing I don't do or got to do is lie to none of y'all people because I keep trying to tell you what y'all going to do. What y'all gonna do? Exactly. Crickets. And the only reason why I'm even like addressing it is because that note yesterday and then, you know, my person, this person I called this morning, she was like, were you trying? And listen, I'm gonna say nothing. I said what they said. And I'm saying what I'm saying. And I repeat what I'm saying to you, them, they mama, and God, because he know what they said, what they meant, and what they said. I, I'm not here to assume what a person meant. That's not my problem. I'm here to repeat what it was that I was told, and that's the end of that. Y'all go off assumptions. I go off the truth and what was said. That's it. Um, It's the backpedaling for me. I don't care what a person meant to say. I only repeat what was told to me, okay? And that's all I got. That's it. That's all. And that's where I'm at with it. And if you have a problem with me, don't go and, you know, indirectly, because I keep trying to tell y'all, my phone number is online. Matter of fact, Google me, Google Talicia L. Harmon, put some respect on my name and watch my phone number come up. It's not hard. I'm not hard to find. I only became invisible when I used somebody else's name that they didn't even care about. So and I ain't trying to come for nobody. I'm just saying. When people do stuff and now respect their own last name, what I'm supposed to think. So, meanwhile, back at band camp, that's neither here nor there. This good energy, though, that um, I've been having and projecting in my life to where, you know, people call me and they feel comfortable and they um, know that they're not going to have no issues with me later on, you know, with their stuff or their business, right? So, I called back home today to one of my friends at home and it was funny because the minute i called because i i they text me good morning i was just checking on you that that's all they wanted right because they have been respecting my space and this is the person that said all you got to do is um let me know when to come and i'll be there for you and i believe her okay because she is that type um she be you know acting out sometimes though but i love her okay she know um but anyway, 
So when I call, I FaceTime, and she like, look who on the TV. And she's playing my channel, right? So that made me smile because I'm like, oh, and she's like, um, I got you on an eight, I think she got an 85 inch TV or something. I got you on an 85 inch, like, and so I'm laughing because she's showing me, which really actually made me feel good. Okay. And so then her husband says, you've been doing a really good job. And I'm like, you know, thinking that I didn't even think men would even like, you know, want to click in, tune in or anything. Right. So, but anyway, that made me feel good. So that also just reminds me of, you know, there's always a, a, a catch 22. Okay. To everything in life for some reason, because you know how you see angel numbers and I was on the phone with another friend right behind that. And 1111 came up and she made no as to what 1111 meant to her. But although I know what 1111 means, I always go look every time because depending upon what channel you click in, there's little signs or little flags that pop up or little things that sayings that pop up. And that's the message that God is trying to give me, right? Or that's the, the, the message that the universe is trying to give me. And at this particular time, it was saying that you are being divinely guided, you know, as always. But then somewhere in there, it was saying um, like how it was a intuitive message and um, that there is some good stuff about to happen to you. But the message that popped up that came from the channel was you don't need to look for validation outside of you. Everything that you have or everything that you need is within inside of you, which is exactly true you are the gatekeeper of your own mind you control what comes in you control what goes out okay but but we live in the, the 3d realm some of us 5d some of us are out of this world okay <laughs> but wherever you live in at this is the thing when you are now dealing in this world and dealing with people reviews are important because i was talking the other day about your brand Good reviews, bad reviews, reviews are important. And it's important to, you know, get the good and the bad reviews because, and that's what that message said. So I'm going to go back to her later because, I, you know, that's a different conversation. But let's go back to the, the friend that I called that I was on her television. And so she said, oh my God, they were telling me, you know, how good I was and, you know, everything else. And then she told me what God been telling me, what everybody is so mad at stop cussing right and she wasn't saying it in a bad way because she was letting me know she was saying the reason why she was saying it though was because she said i would i had you on the uh the speaker at the hair shop and she said and you know it's people in there it's elderly you know or just people in general are in there and you know so they're listening to me talk and the cuss words come out and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, but she does say she cusses, you know, because although I'm talking about God, you know. So that was positive, very positive reinforcement. I needed that review. So not about looking for validation within people, but also just needing to know that, um, because I don't really want to offend anybody, but sometimes I'll be wanting to offend somebody. So again, catch 22, it is what it is. But that part right there, what she said is true because I want to be able to 1919. That's what I just saw. It's on the timer. Um, when God said, I'm going to put you in places that you don't even know, you didn't even know you were going to go into or places, or I'm going to open doors for you. Thank you, God. I'm sorry, but I be having moments sometimes that it'd be me and him. And it just comes out of the blue. But anyway, um, I'm going to open doors for you that you can't take that mouth into. Um, you know, with them cuss words coming out of it. I'm going to need you to be, you know, elegant and graceful when you get in, those, in that room. Um, and not that anything's wrong with me because... Hello, he chose me when I was foul mouth. But progression and growth, moving forward, 
okay? So I didn't take it any type of way. I love the fact that she is close enough to me or just, you know, that she would care about me enough to say, watch your mouth. Like I'm out here, you know, I'm supporting you and she got me on the big screen. So I know she, she's rocking with me. Watch your mouth because I'm playing you everywhere I go. I'm, I'm you know, I'm doing, I'm here for you. So I love that. And then I love the fact that even her husband, because again, uh, of course I'm a woman. So I understand that women, you know, they understand, you know, what we're talking about here, but for him to tell me himself, like he even appreciates my channel. That did something to me. I really appreciate that. So with that being said, also knowing when you need help, because I understand in the spiritual community that everybody's saying, um, you know, you are not everybody. Just, I see certain things where people are saying they got to, you got to do for yourself. You got to be alone. You got to be, but God is saying, if you need help, you got to ask for help because how do you get help? If you're going through a spiritual crisis, how do you get help if you don't ask for any? And some people should not just be left alone to deal with their own issues or their own, you know, because it's hard. It's hard. And for those people who can help, you should help. So again, I'm asking for y'all help. So this is the thing that I'm going to ask for because energy. If I'm helping you on my channel, there is links in my channel. Um, if you go into the description box, because he's telling me to sit still. My channel is not monetized. That means also I'm not out to work because I'm being obedient to what he's saying because I'm sitting here. So if I help you in any type of way, whatever you can donate to my channel, please do so. So that way I can continue to sit here in my spot and then whatever, you know, once I figure out, you know, what else I'm supposed to do to shift it to, you know, the actual payment of something, then, cause I, I'm not one that asks anybody to help. I just do what I need to do and I call it a day. But at this point, I'm trying to figure out and trying to really definitely be obedient because there's nothing else I can do. Like literally he forcing me, you know, when God really wants you to do something, he shut everything down and you sit down. And right now I'm sitting down. So again, check in the description box. There is um, links to my cash app in there. I have to go check my PayPal because I think PayPal just shut down a lot of accounts. And I think I saw that they were saying no, that they did because I didn't update something and I will. But um, as of now, my cash app is there. So if you can donate to my channel, if not hit a like, a, everything is energy. So even if I help and you can't donate to my channel, hit a like hit a subscribe, hit a share, you know what I mean? To it's all energy, positive reinforcement, um, energy's energy, positive energy exchange. So that was that. Um, the spiritual life coaching and helping and aiding people through, this is what I, my email is there and I'm gonna add a, I might add another one. I'm not sure, but there, my email is there and I'm gonna do better with checking my email because I definitely need to make sure that, you know, all of these everybody's getting through. But the other thing that I needed, and this is for anybody that knows me, anybody that knows me, that I have helped you in any type of form or fashion, or I gave you any positive reinforcement, can you please put it in a note, an email and send it to me, please? Cause I'm gonna start putting some of them on my channel. But the reason why I'm doing this is because um, what I want to do here also while I'm sitting here is to do the spiritual life coaching to, um, you know, people where they're able to come in. Cause you know, I do have my spa or, you know, or I want to have a specific, you know, I don't know, a group of people or a person. I don't know how this is going to work out yet, how it's going to play out. But either way, what I have been doing is getting my certifications put together, um, getting all my supplies together because I am now getting ready to offer that to the public. Okay. That's what I meant to say. I'm about, I'm about to offer that to the public. And so the reviews will actually help because again, this is something that I have been doing my whole entire life. And I need for people to realize like, this is not a game. This is really who she is. Cause people will, you know, say all types of bad things, 
what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. If I did something wrong, I will admit that I did that because only God can judge me. So I keep trying to tell y'all that I have no reason to lie to anybody about anything. Like, I just don't have time. Um, and for what? I'm grown. I do what I want. I don't know whether or not y'all realize it, but after y'all get to a certain age, it's like you really don't even care what you say to people because, and, and you should care. But when it comes to my business, I really don't care. I'll tell you what I want to tell you anyway. If I just don't want to tell you, I'm going to just say what I want to tell you. But for the most part, I'm really an open, closed book. I'm a Pisces, so you know we just... <laughs> you'll know us, but you never know us, okay? It's because that's just... I ain't going to tell y'all the secret. But anyway, so... And I hope you don't mind that I will be featuring some of them actually in the community tab. If you go on YouTube and look at the community tab, there's stuff there that you can see. There's notes and stuff that we write. And, you know, that's for all the um, tarot readers. Anybody that's on YouTube, if you go to the community tab, if they're using the community tab, there's stuff there. So I don't know if y'all are only looking at videos. But if you are, there's so much more stuff there too. Um, and... I think part of the reason why, like, recently it's been a lot of <laughs> young energy, young energy around me. And when I say young, they're adults, but you know what I'm saying? They're, like, young. And it's a couple of them, right? One, one, I probably have entertained more than any of them. But this is still one line. And it's only because, like, this person just literally, sometimes I'm not going to lie, it's like they rub me the wrong way, but then they keep pulling me in. Like, so it's like a, I don't know, it's weird. But then it's another person that is like, so part of that, like, even being able to just have good energy is the reason why I'm even saying this. So, you know, normally I'm uh, dating somebody older or um, entertaining somebody older. And now I'm just starting to realize, like, and that's great, you know, it's great, especially when they know how to act, because it's a lot of older people that just act childish, too, and I don't got time. But when it's a mature, younger person, it's actually kind of cute a little bit, because um, one in particular, and this is, um, I don't know if I should say this, but he's a white guy, right? And I actually ran into him one time um, while I was doing a load. And he's younger than me, probably like by 10 years. And so it was cute that he went in my inbox and he asked me, like he did all the proper things because, you know, he's like, good morning. And he'll, you know, say, you know, good night or he'll comment on my videos on my, um, and he's following me on all of my platforms and even on my YouTube. So he watches my videos so high. Um, but what I thought was so cute was he asked me, um, did I have a boyfriend? <laughs> and I was like, no, but then I sent my YouTube to him. And then I'm like, uh, you should probably watch all these videos before you come back. And it was cute because he ain't been back in my inbox yet, <laughs> but he still comments on all of my, um, my, uh, TikToks and stuff. So Clearly, he's still going through the videos because there is a lot of them. But I love the fact that he was respectful. He was respectful. And he understood when I said, I think you might want to. And that's only because it, a lot of stuff has happened to me. So a person might want to realize, you know, or might want to see, you know, is she, she a little weird, <laughs> you know, and I can accept it. It just is what it is. But get to know me first. So and that's a way to get to know me because there's so much more behind that. But they just need to see that that's there. And then there was another person, they went, and I love this one, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, another person said, hi, I am, they said whatever their name was, and then they just said, this is the start of communication. <laughs> it's so simple, like, literally, I'm so simple. And although, like I said, I know what I'm doing, but it's just cute to, I don't know, just to see that people are not, you know, that there's not just a flaw in the system because I thought there was a flaw in the system. If you go look at my videos, I'm over here saying like, I don't understand what the new age dating is because if you like somebody, you just don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. Acknowledge them and say, hi, you know, 
I don't understand the, I mean, I get it because if you're connected to a person, you have a connection with a person, then that's great because you want to be able to test that out. But can we test that out like the normal way first and, you know, figure it out? But either way, either way, I feel great. <laughs> I feel like, but now I see why. I see a couple extra things behind the scenes and, you know. But anyway, so if you know me, if you would like to send me a letter, email it to me. Or you can mail it to me. There's um stuff in my mailbox. I mean, there's a address there also. And I just updated my um, Amazon wish list. So also another way to help my channel is to go to my Amazon wish list and help support, like, even with my herbs and all that stuff. I would appreciate that. Um... And I just downloaded some information because this book is the book that I'm is sitting here because it's a lot of my certifications that I have and um, just paperwork for my uh, herbs because I told you guys I was going to go on here, go on camera and um, put some of my herbs in jars and stuff, mason jars with you guys. So I did download them and it also helps me like when I start doing the um, offering the life coaching to like the public or just people. It'll help me know this, this will be my book that will help me know like what herbs is needed and what I got to do. And you know, I can't wait to start, but literally I just have to figure out the one side, like, you know, of really transferring everything over to me being here. So Pray that over my channel that the transition is easy that's it that's all don't say nothing else that's it <laughs> i'm asking for that part so thank you for coming to my channel like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one